A lot of the protesters in Occupy Wall Street believe that capitalism is to blame for the rich getting richer, gaining more power, and attempting to trample on our rights. Protesters have spent the last couple months occupying city halls and Wall Street having their opinions heard. These people believe that capitalism has failed us. But is what they are protesting actually capitalism? Technically, capitalism is defined as a complete free market. That means that government does not involve itself in the market in any way to affect the economy, or as little way as possible. Some want to turn to socialism as the answer, which would involve some government interference, or in many extreme cases, communism, which would involve almost entirely government interference. But is capitalism really the reason why we are splitting into a pseudo-two-caste system consisting of the haves and have-nots? And why are we going down a road toward tyranny if capitalism is not the reason why? To demonstrate, I'm going to use this Monopoly board. Let's say the Monopoly board is the economy and each of these players here own a certain amount of cash. In a capitalist economy, government takes what is necessary to fund necessities to keep the country intact, such as military and printing money. In capitalism, anyone can take a slice of an economy pie with a certain amount of capital. And government, for the most part, does not interfere. The safeguards against the tyrannical government are as many as the number of citizens that are able to use the money to stop them. In socialism, the government takes a little more of the pie from citizens than what is necessary. They can use the extra money in one of two ways. They can redistribute the money to their liking via giving money to other citizens or using it to fund social programs. Or they can just keep the extra money as a surplus. There are less safeguards against a tyrannical government because less people's voices are heard due to less people contributing to the economy. In communism, the government takes, well, just about all of your money, and can use the extra money in the same ways that a socialistic government can. While the ideal of communism is to redistribute the money evenly amongst all citizens, since the people have no money and therefore have to depend on government for food and supplies, they are at the mercy of the leader of said government whether he wants to redistribute that money to them or simply keep it all for himself, leaving almost no safeguard for such a tyranny. What most of the occupiers are complaining about involve Wall Street bailouts to corporations. An excessive amount of money was taken from the citizen and given to the governments on Wall Street, to the tune of about 14 figures. But if this were capitalism, why would the government be interfering with anything, especially giving Wall Street bailouts? Government wouldn't interfere, and all the bailout banks and corporations would fail under a capitalistic society. What we are seeing instead is a form of socialism known as corporate socialism which is when government uses the money to bail out the most successful among us, which this being corporations, so they do not fail. If they had just let the businesses fail, yeah, it would be a blow to the economy, but citizens wouldn't be feeling a higher pinch right now just because the money supply has increased and Main Street, us, have seen none of it.